Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you the three core steps that you need to do to launch your website with Squarespace. It's really easy and can be really painless if you know what to do. So I'm gonna walk you through that here in this video. And if you are launching a new business or whatever, congrats, that's a huge step. Let's get into the video now. All right, so here we are on my demo website that we are gonna prepare to launch. The first thing we're gonna wanna click on is the settings wheel in the bottom left-hand corner. And the goal here is that we wanna get our site availability to allow us to go public. So there are three core steps. And the first step is we need to set up billing. You want to do this before you connect your domain because if you have a live domain, you cannot go live until you pay for billing. So I just highly recommend doing the billing first. So let me walk you through that so you get an idea of it. The first thing is we'll go to billing here, then we're gonna go to subscriptions in the middle, and then we're gonna click on website here, and then we're gonna click on subscribe. Now this will take us to our plans, and when it says this is the most popular, most likely it is the most popular. So if you want a discount, as you can see, I get this 20% discount here, use the link down below to start your subscription, and if you need a coupon code as well underneath that, I do have a coupon code down below that you can use to get this pricing. Now, one more tip, if you do pay annually, you'll get a domain for free with Squarespace. So if you don't own of domain already, this is even a better value because you're just gonna save even more money getting started, which you can see that option right here. Most websites, again, are gonna fall under business, but you'll just hit select, and then you'll do confirm to pay annually. That's how you get the discount, and then the billing as of right now comes to about 220. You set all that up, and then once you're good to go there, and that is paid, you are set up with billing, and that step is done. Now, step two is to connect your domain. So what we'll do here is we'll click on domains and email, then we'll click on domains here, and then here we have two options. We could either get a domain, now if we just paid annually and we want the free domain, this is how we get it, or if we wanted to use a domain that we already own, there's a lot that happens with this button. So what I'm gonna say is I'm not gonna go into depth on this, I'll overview it right now, but I have like five of the best videos online about Squarespace domains that are completely free that you can use. Go watch and understand how to connect your domain if you are running into any issues. Plus I have a domain starter kit which takes you through the whole process, every single detail. I've helped over 500 people connect their domain online. And if none of that works, you could book a quick paid consultation with me at the link down below where we get on a Zoom call basically and I walk you through connecting your domain and get it dialed. I've done that for over 15 websites where we just spend 20 to 30 minutes, get connected, and then you're good to go. So in this case, I'm gonna click use a domain I own and I'm just gonna type in a domain that I do own. What this does is it goes searches the internet to kind of find where it's at gives you two options. In this case, you could either transfer or connect. My recommendation, if you have all your domains in another place, like say GoDaddy or Bluehost or something, I would just keep them there. You don't need to transfer them over. If you wanna do that long-term, you can, but it does take a lot more time to do that. In this case, I'm gonna hit connect. Then from there, it gives me a few more options where you could either do it with DNS records or you could do it with name servers. This is really complicated. If you don't understand it, in my opinion, you only need the DNS if you're gonna connect email, you may wanna do it this way where you hit get started, but it just really depends on what your use case is. If you are just connecting the domain, I would just use DNS records, go from there. Then from here, it's gonna ask you to select your provider. If it could identify your provider, it would already pull it up. As you can see here, it knows it's with GoDaddy. And so when I hit connect domain, it's not for all registrars, but with GoDaddy, they have a built-in integration here where I just need to log in, give it permission, and we're good to go. And just like that, I'll connect my domain. And then from there, it starts the process, which can take anywhere between 24 to 72 hours to connect your domain and build the SSL. In my experience, it should only take up to 24 hours for all of that to happen but just be mindful that that can take a bit of time. But luckily you have now finished step one and two and step three is the easiest and probably the funnest where you go to website, click on site availability and once you're ready, you just click on 
public. Because you've paid for the site, you've set up the domain, you click on public, and that means your site is ready to go live. If you're connecting your domain from a live website, you have a live website and you just built a new one and you're transferring it, you may wanna do this a little bit earlier in the process, but generally if you're watching this video, you're gonna have a good grasp of everything you need to do. And so you could click public, it'll say, are you sure, save, you're good to go. And now your website is live. Congrats if you just launched something new. If you're looking to get even more out of Squarespace, I have digital products to help you blog, help you with SEO, and a lot more down below. So definitely check out all the products there. And if you need more help with your website, I have a ton of resources online, over 400 videos on this channel. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.